All right, so you have finished and printed out your memoir. You have an MLA heading on the left-hand side. You have the page number and your name on the right in the header. You have a title in the middle. So you are this far. I'll show you exactly what you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to hand it in. First of all, make sure that you have a rubric. Put your name on the rubric, put your title on the rubric, and put your class period on the rubric. Then you make sure to go down that left-hand column where it says five, and make sure you have done what it asks you to do. For instance, in Movie Behind the Eyelids, it asks you to label a section where you have shown Movie Behind the Eyelids. In Theme, it asks you to label four places where the theme has been revealed and where, in fact, you've revealed the theme. Sensory details, it asks you to underline seven places where you use sensory details. Show, don't tell, you're supposed to label three places where you show and don't tell. Next is leads, you need to attach three your three lead possibilities that you wrote. You need to include a two or three sentence explanation that proves that your choice of leads is the best. And finally, you need to include below your conclusion an explanation of why your conclusion is effective. Here you can see I have labeled a section where I feel like I've done the movie behind the eyelids technique. Also, you can see that I've labeled sensory details. Where it says cackled there, I put sensory detail one. Later on, I say crunched. That is sensory detail two. Then, as the rubric says, you have to circle where you reveal your theme. I feel like I did that in the sentence I knew it was happening and said nothing. So I circled that and labeled it theme one. Further down, I feel like I revealed the theme again. And so I circled the sentence where I revealed the theme and put theme two. Further on, I feel like I added another sensory detail. So I just abbreviated it and said SD, sensory detail, three. So you'll do this throughout your paper so you can show, um, as the rubric requires, that you have done movie media behind the eyelids, so that you've mastered showing your theme, so that you use sensory details. Remember also to label your show, don't tell. So you need to make sure and label where you've done that throughout. Again, the conclusions, you need to write underneath your conclusion, why you feel like this conclusion does its job. I write, I feel my conclusion clearly reiterates the theme of shame and guilt. Also, this conclusion leaves the reader with an image of the shame and guilt that I still feel 10 years later. You also need to staple to your memoir the three leads that you worked on. These don't have to be typed. Many of you wrote them in your binder, so you can rip them out of your binder and attach them. What you need to add to your three leads are an explanation as to why you feel your lead, the one that you chose, works the best. So make sure to have a two or three cents about why you chose the lead that you did. Finally, staple your memoir your lead sheet and your rubric together. So start with your memoir on the top, then behind that staple your lead sheet. Behind your lead sheet, please staple the rubric.